Hello everybody in our Upper Darby community. <laughs> this is a special edition of the Mayor's Message. At the last council meeting, I was unable to give the Mayor's Message since for at least the third time in the last two years, the council president has shut down the council meeting before the publicized agenda items were addressed. Some of those items will appear on the, next, uh, on the agenda for the next council meeting, but others are more time sensitive, like the Mayor's Message. So tomorrow, September 30th, we will hold uh, the Upper Darby International Festival from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Five Points intersection in front of the Township Building. You won't want to miss the music acts, food demonstrations, vendors, artillery brewing, and more from around our community. The YMCA and the Upper Darby Libraries have created the best kids zone ever for this year's event. This event is free, as always, and open to everyone. Next week, we will host a kickoff for Fire Prevention Week. That'll be on October 5th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Second Ward Playground, which is at the intersection of Crosley and Stockley. The playground will also be officially renamed at this event to be the Stonehurst Hills Recreation Area. We have done a complete renovation of the space, and we hope to see you there. The Fall Identity Theft Prevention event will be held on Saturday, October 21st from 9 a.m. to noon at Upper Darby High School. And I'd like to address a couple themes which keep popping up during the public forum. As I've said before, I do respect every resident's right of free speech, but there is not enough time in this meeting or any sort of meeting to address or acknowledge the various false statements that are made here in this room. In this message, I would like to clarify my administration's commitment and support of our police department. Since 2020, we have purchased body-worn cameras and upgraded tasers for all officers on duty. The department has recently received state accreditation, which includes an update of all policies and procedures. We have hired 35 officers and promoted 23 since 2020. We now have the most diverse police department in Upper Darby's history. The department has developed the TAPS, which is Teens and Police Service Academy, and it runs at Bonner Prenby High School, the Municipal Library on Livewood Avenue, and now at Upper Darby High School. A new community policing center has been opened at Barclay Square, and that includes the hiring of two civilian community liaisons. The former Community Affairs Office at the Drexel Line Shopping Center has also been reopened and it's now at Pilgrim Gardens. We have four new patrol canines with Canine Bane, Canine Juno, Canine Kilo, and Canine Bronx. One dog is assigned to each uh, patrol platoon and the community service dog has been assigned to our Community Affairs Officer Bateman. A long needed sally port was added and enclosed to the rear of police headquarters. We have a full-time victim services coordinator, and we've purchased an office trailer, which is now our victim services unit. The old courtroom located inside of police headquarters um, was moved, and the space has been converted into a larger state-of-the-art training facility for our department. Office space in police headquarters was renovated and now houses the domestic abuse project. There have been technological investments as well. The purchase of Grace Shift software for detectives, which allows them to analyze cellular devices. Previously, these devices had to be sent out to other agencies. All interviews in Upper Darby are now conducted with audio visual equipment. We have also added all this equipment for recording interviews with our detectives. We have a new ALPR tag reading system, which is used township wide. I'd like to note that this is not a comprehensive list of all that has been accomplished, and I'd like to thank Superintendent Bernhardt and his team for doing so much to modernize and improve public safety for our community in less than four years. That's all for now. Hope to see you at the International Festival tomorrow. Thank you.